I am Mr. Ish and I welcome you to this video. In this video, we're learning this technique for finding the inverse of a matrix. It's a specific technique you have to learn in pre-calculus. Many of you will do pre-calculus perhaps in 12th or 11th grade mathematics for, of your high school. If you have a matrix and that's called A, a matrix designated as A, you can have a specific item in here and you know this is a one by one matrix. It has one row and it has one column. If you have another matrix, and we'll call that B, you can have four elements in it. And you know this right here is a two by two matrix. There are two rows and then there are two columns. For the high school level math, especially with regards to finding the inverse of a matrix, you don't need to really go into three by three matrices. Two by two and one by one is good. Each matrix has an inverse. You designate that inverse as this. Each matrix also has an identity matrix identity matrix and you can designate that as i with the exponent a it's not a real exponent but you can call that a superscript a for a one by one matrix the identity matrix for that is always a one inside that you have a single element and the element is one for a two by two matrix the identity matrix is one zero zero one many of you probably have seen that in this particular video we're seeing how you determine the inverse of a matrix whether it's a one by one or a two by two there's a specific procedure we have to learn that procedure and that procedure will be with regards to determining the inverse of that particular matrix we're not going to show you why you have to do this we're just learning the technique of how you determine the inverse of a matrix. If you have a one by one matrix and you want to determine its inverse, it's the easiest thing you can do. Imagine you have an A matrix and it has a number five in it. You want to find the inverse of that. How do you go about doing it? You set it up into this form. You put your A over here, you put your identity matrix here. You have a five and you know the identity matrix for a one by one is always a one. What you want to do is get a one right over here by doing manipulation. The only manipulation you can do is a single step over here because it's a one by one, it's so easy. You want to get a one over here and whatever happens over here, that will become your inverse. That will become your inverse. If I want to get a one over here and I want to convert this first block into the identity matrix, I can only do that by doing row one item here and multiply it by one over five. And you will see what will come about. When you multiply this by one over five, you get a one over here, and then it will multiply all the way across. This rule will affect everything and you'll get a one over five over here. Now suddenly the A over here has become an identity matrix, which is what I wanted to do. And your identity matrix block has become your inverse. And that's exactly what it is. The inverse of this is going to be 1 over 5 and that would be it. And your question would have been done. But to make sure your answer is right, there's a specific check you can do. The check is this. You multiply your original with your inverse, your new inverse you've determined, and you should end up with the identity matrix. And we can show you that. My original was just a 5 and now multiplying that by 1 over 5. I have a 1 by 1 times 1 by 1. I'll have a 1 by 1 answer. 5 times 1 over 5, I'll have this. If I'm getting a identity matrix as a result of multiplying the original and the inverse, then I know my answer is right. So this answer right here is right. So how did we go about doing this? Just a quick review. We started here with this double block. The first block represents your original matrix. The second block represents your identity matrix. You want to convert your original block into an identity matrix by a step or a series of steps. And whatever will happen to your identity matrix block, that will become your inverse. The original will become the identity matrix. The original identity matrix block will become your inverse. As a check, you can multiply your original with your inverse and you get your identity matrix. And that right there is a gist of just the one by one matrix, which is very easy. Whatever you see, normally just the reciprocal of that is your inverse. The situation is slightly different for two by two and we'll be looking at two by two next. We're gonna do two questions and we're gonna learn the two by two utilizing these two questions because that'll probably be the best way. We have to find the inverse of that matrix right over there. Set it up in that block I showed you. You have a one, three, two, zero, your original, then you can have your identity matrix. A two by two has a identity matrix one, zero, zero, one. You have to somehow convert this into your identity matrix and whatever will happen over here, it'll become your inverse. You have to do a series of steps. You wanna start with this, you wanna go downwards and you wanna go across. I'm seeing a one over here and I wanna have a one over here so there's nothing I need to do with this first item. 
but I need to get a zero down here because I have to work in this direction. I'll do this rule, row one item multiplied by minus two plus row two and see what will happen and this rule will affect everything. I'm gonna write the top row because nothing is happening with the top row. The top row is gonna influence the second row. One times minus two plus two, I'm gonna get a zero over here. Three times minus two plus row two is gonna be a minus six. One times minus two plus zero is a minus two and zero times minus two plus one is just a one. You see I've gotten a one zero and now I have this. I need to get a one zero and a one and then a zero here on the top. I'm going to focus in on this number. I'm going to do a rule. Row 2 divided by minus 6. This will bring a 1 over here, which is what I want. The top row is not being affected at all. and Only the second row is being affected by this rule. Minus 6 divided by minus 6, 1. Minus 2 divided by minus 6 is a 1 over 3. 1 divided by minus 6 is a minus 1 over 6. I've gotten a 1, 0, 1 and I need to get a 0 here. I'm going to use this number to change that. I'm going to do row 2 times minus 3 plus row 1. It's going to affect all the way across. Nothing is happening here with the lower row, so you can write that as is. The lower row is affecting the upper row. 0 times minus 3 plus row 1. Here, I'm just going to get a 1. 1 times minus 3 is a minus 3 plus 3 is a 0. So I've gone my identity matrix here. Because this has to convert into the identity matrix. This will convert into your inverse. Here, you'll end up with your inverse matrix. 1 over 3 times minus 3 is a minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is a 0. Minus 1 over 6 times minus 3 is a 1 over 2. 1 over 2 plus 0 is a 1 over 2. And there it is. That's your answer. Your inverse is this block right here. But you can use the check. And remember, the original times your inverse should give you your identity matrix. If that happens, then we know our answer is good. My original is right over here. 1, 3, 2, 0. My inverse matrix is right here, 0, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, minus 1 over 6. If I multiply these two, I should have the identity matrix pop up over here. You're going to do this row with that column. 1 times 0 is a 0, 3 times 1 over 3 is a 1. So that's good. Now we'll do this row with this column. 1 times 1 over 2 is a 1 over 2, 3 times minus 1 over 6 is a minus 1 over 2, and you get a 0. Now we'll do this row with that column, 2 times 0 plus 0 times 1 over 3, well we get a 0 here. We'll do this row with this last column, 2 times 1 over 2 is a 1. 1 plus 0, well we're good. We're getting an identity matrix. So this right here, my inverse, all of this is good. So this question has been completed. Remember 2 by 2, when you multiply with a 2 by 2, you'll get a 2 by 2. The inner numbers have to be the same. If these inner numbers are the same, then you can actually do this multiplying computation and the outer numbers will indicate what the result of your product in terms of the matrix multiplying is. Let's do one more question and that'll be it for this particular video. Our original matrix is this. We have to find the inverse of it. So set this up in this double table. Here you have A, here you have your identity. The identity matrix for 2 by 2 is a 1, 0, 0, 1 and put this over here, minus 1, 2, 0, minus 1. I need this block to change into my identity matrix and I need this block to become my inverse matrix by a series of procedures. I need to have a 1 over here. I'm going to take the row 1 and now multiply by minus 1 because it will generate that 1 over here. And I'll affect it all the way across that row. I'll have a 1, minus 2, minus 1, 0. Write the lower row because we're not doing anything with that yet. I have a 1 and a 0 here. I don't need to do anything over here. It's already done because I need to have this identity matrix still up here. 1, 0, 1, 0. I already have a 1, 0. So I don't need to focus on this. Now I should just focus on this number. And I can do row 2 times minus 1 and it will generate a 1 over here which is what I want. The upper row is not being affected by this specific rule but the lower row is 0, 1, 0, minus 1. You see how we're getting a 1, 0, 1 and we need a 0 over here. We're going to utilize this number to affect that. Remember, you work generally in this direction, then you work across, then you work upwards right here. Let's find a rule so we can do get a zero over here. How about row 2 times 2 plus row 1? Row 2 times 2 plus row 1. And that'll get me that zero over there. Nothing is being affected here in the lower row. 1 times 2 is a 2. 2 plus minus 2 is a zero. 0 times 2 is a zero. Plus and minus 1, you're getting a minus 1. Minus 1 times 2 is a minus 2. Minus 2 plus that 0, well, you're getting a minus 2. So 
So here's my identity matrix which has developed here which was in the spot of the original matrix. The original identity matrix has become my inverse in regard. Let's do that quick check. The A times the inverse should e equal the identity matrix and that's exactly what we're doing over here. We have the original minus 1, 2, 0, minus 1. We are multiplied by the inverse minus 1, minus 2, 0, minus 1 and we should get the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. The first row and the first column, minus 1 times minus 1 is a 1 plus 0 is a 1. First row and the second column, minus 1 times minus 2 is a 2. 2 plus minus 2 is a 0. We're good. This row with this column, 0 and a 0, well, that's a 0. This row with this last column, 0 times minus 2 is a 0. And minus 1 times minus 1 is a 1. So we're good. Our answer here is as you see right here, minus 1, minus 2, 0, minus 1. This right here represents the inverse and it's good because the check procedure worked. The original times inverse should always give you your identity matrix and we're good. So this video has been completed and see how everything worked along. To determine your inverse, you have to do these series of procedures for 2 by 2. The 1 by 1 is easy and I showed you a single example and that's about all you need to know. But you start here with your original and the original by these series of rules should become your identity matrix because you're trying to convert this block into the identity matrix. Incidentally, everything else will work out. This block for the identity matrix will over the period of time become your inverse matrix and you've seen that come about right over here. And that's it for this video. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.